would have believed that in the 21st century, new technology will have eliminated the need for currency. The government mandated that a chip be injected into a person's hand and used instead. A small group of people refused this, citing health issues and privacy concerns, and this group was labeled a terrorist organization, forced to forage underground for food and other items in dumpsters. But they became known as the Dumpster Liberation Front. This is their story. This is Dumpster Diver of the Musical. Four years earlier, at college graduation, Trevor, Faith, and Shelby, the college professor. Alongside him, his daughter Erin, as well as Trevor's best friend. Only four years earlier, and a world apart from what we know today. That was a great speech, Trevor. Hey, uh, Faith, did you like my speech? No. She just didn't understand it, that's all. <laughs> Too, but just to let you know, it isn't for fun and games. Like, we're going there for her dad. Oh, so it'll just be the two of you together in the waiting room okay. alone? <laughs> I want to come to Europe. I enjoyed your speech about technology, Trevor. <laughs> uh, it sounded like you lifted it from my syllabus. Oh, he did. Mr. Shelby, thank you so much for your recommendation letter to Angel Wire. The work that they are doing there is revolutionary. And uh, Trevor, you earned it. Now, we'll meet you there Monday morning, 9 a.m. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You said the position started in August. I'm supposed to go to Europe with Faith. Oh, well, I got you that internship, Trevor. I had to pull some strings. Sir, you said there'd be no strings attached. Oh, there's always strings attached. 9 a.m., suit and tie. <laughs> Thank you. 
to you? Hello? You can say anything. Um, but I, I can't go to Europe anymore. I'm sorry. You said that you would go. I have loans to pay you back. You need to take a break from staring at my computer and programming code. Look at you. You look sick. I don't look sick. Do I? Come with me. While you're slaving away over a computer, I'll be roaming the streets of Prague. Okay, but you're a nomad. That's your life. You need to learn to listen to the music that's in here. Yeah, that'll get you in trouble. Maybe. But at the end of the day, I'll have great stories to tell. Well, I can't. Don't waste your future on a job. This isn't a job. It's my career. Whatever. A career is just a job you dress up for. Hey, stop. You're drunk. Places. Trevor is living in New York City as a lead developer for Angel Wire. He is well paid. He has a company car and a luxury condo minutes away from his apartment. And Faith, she's living in Europe as a nomadic vagabond who's overstayed her visa. She hustles for cash jobs, hitchhikes for walks, and crashes the couches of friends and coworkers. On her free time, she's at the hospital at her dad's bedside as he undergoes seemingly endless experimental medical treatments.
the angel wire factory, they discovered that she is not alone. That's why you want to shut down Angel Wire? Because you believe they killed your dad? Hey, that doesn't make any sense. Look, seriously, I'm sorry about your dad. But what you're saying, it sounds crazy. Trevor, I've been talking to you for two hours and you still don't get it. It's not just Angel Wire, it's your name on the designs. You're, you're not listening to me, Trevor. You're not listening. Hey, where are you going? Wherever I want to go. Yeah, look where that's gotten you. You're homeless. Well, at least I don't live in an ugly apartment. This looks like a doctor's office. A doctor who's on sad drugs. Hey, stop. Is the story you told something that you made up in your head? A reason to refuse a life ordinary instead. Tell me, don't worry about the life you choose. You don't play by rules, you surely do. Some of my thoughts in three words I am concerned. Since your dad's passing, you've carried this chip on your shoulder. 
let me get this straight. You're saying that my dad's company is planning to chip people against their will, and if they refuse, they won't be allowed to buy food? Basically. It's all right here on the file. Read it yourself. Do you think my dad would knowingly push this evil signing shit? Yeah, of course Shelby would. He has to know. I mean, he's the vice president of Angel Wire. You want so bad to believe No, I don't want to believe this. We have everything we need. That's the problem. I don't want things. I want adventure. I thought you wanted me. A life together. There's no one to promise and you gave me this. Is this how you repay someone who's made this all happen? You know, if it weren't for me, you wouldn't even have that cushy dream job. Wait. What are you talking about? God, if I had known that getting me that job was just going to make you leave anyway. Wait, did you convince your dad to give me that job so I wouldn't leave? It's not just that. Would you have even wanted to be with me if I hadn't taken that job? I fell in love with the person you became. Yeah, but who I became was based on a lie. You know what, Trevor? You're not going to sit around here and listen to me make ridiculous accusations about my father. If you want to go believe your psychotic college ex-girlfriend, fine. You need some air.
Shelby's lab, and then I was walking, and I woke up in a forest, and it looked like shit. <laughs> How long have you guys been out here?
I'm sorry. I'm not going to Europe with you. You needed a friend and I wasn't there. I know your dad wouldn't think proud of you. This world is too small to understand who you are, and that's okay. They can't hear the same music that you hear. No, I've been through more crazy experiences in the past week than I have in the past four years. And Start a new adventure. Stay. 